Hello everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, with me! And, we're midway through a mission, actually. With my... badly designed drone carrier that actually kind of really sucks. At the Curb to National Space Station, we're still getting over 30 frames a second docked at the station. Even though we now have a part count of almost 200, <clears throat> eventually the part count is going to limit how big the uh, station can get. But yeah, we have four Kerman just chilling out, exchanging, you know, granola bars or whatever. I will look into modding this game at some point, but it's just so good unmodded. <laughs> it's one of those where I'd like, I don't know. You have to be really careful with how you mod that game. There's some that sound really cool. I'm normally against things, but Bill's been in there forever. So let's... Let's crawl around the space station for just a bit. Actually, we're not, we can't really do that because there's no ladder connecting here. I could have put a ladder here... I don't think it would have helped too much. This is still cool as hell. No, we're just putting off the mission. But yeah, we are... We are doing awesome at the moment. Now... We've docked here, we fueled up all the fuel pods, including this metal one, which is apparently just fucking useless. Oh no, it can refuel the other ones, but the engines won't take it from it naturally because I didn't put fuel lines up here. That's another reason why this design is really poor. But anyhow, Bill looks... horrifyingly happy with everything, but whatever. Did I put him in the habitation module or something? I did! He needs to go in the command module, really, so that he can oversee all our space things. There we go. Also, now the station has some form of control, whereas before, it didn't really. So, let's get ready to detach from the station and take her out. The game kind of moves with the FOV in a way that is a little disorienting. I'm sure we're fine. Alright, get ready to detach, and then we'll go on our mission. Undock from here? What did I just do? Oh, I rotated. Just a bit. Okay, hold to steady. And... In cockpit view? Take us out, Mr. Kerman. On thrusters. Give a salute as we pass by. This is still such a lovely view for the space station. That's one good reason to have it be in orbit. Alright, let's get ourselves turned around. And there's no reason to be using RC. Yes. Yeah, there's no reason to be using RCS on this. I forgot to refuel. important for everything to have RCS fuel, son of a... Guys! We left without something. Target the... Target the curb to National Space Station. Dang it. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. Alright, so we've already learned some important lessons from this mission. Bye! We'll actually be able to see the ship take off for once. Let's give that a viewing, shall we? 
I'm not sure what direction they'll be approaching from, and it's nighttime, so it'll be actually tough to see. I, um... I'm guessing it's from the direction of Kerbin? Actually, let's see. No, we... Yeah, we should be coming into view eventually. Let's give a tiny little tap. Just to clear us away from this station. And to <laughs> wobble us away, because, again, my ship design really sucks. Yeah, down there. Hey, guys, good luck. Good luck on your missions. Okay, now. It's time to take stock and then head to the moon. That was a weird noise I just made. Uh, I need some lights on this damn thing. No, we don't have the power to bear. Okay, plot me a course to the moon. Now, the moon is here, which means we're not in a great place to go to it. But... I'm sure we can plot ourselves a little course. Let's just try the the most... If I just picked a spot here and burned, actually what we could even do is set it as the target. So where would the target be when we were there? Alright, there we go. Hmm, what if... Then we'll do it. Oh, maneuver planning system, you're so nice. I love you. I love you, maneuvers. I used to be so scared of this thing because I didn't know how it worked. Now I do. Ah, oh, that's interesting how it changed. That'll bring us within 10 million meters of it? 10 million meters of Kerbin. Will that actually cause us to hit the moon? Or... Roll the moon. Actually, this kind of works because we could just get close enough to go there, then sweep around. We're still in orbit, so we're totally safe. <coughs> then we'd come back with the carrier and then perform a maneuver to get to Minmus, which is over here. <coughs> So yeah, I like that plan. That plan works really well. And let's see if it works. This is really just a trial to see if the probe carrier thing even works. I like that it kept the names, and it didn't screw up the names and ship designations and stuff. So we're gonna head out now. Get ourselves oriented for maneuver. We're gonna have to burn forever because we have atomic engines, so we're gonna have to get a lot of leeway on this. I was just going to do it the lazy way, which is wait until it comes over the horizon and then burn like a motherfucker. But this is probably better. Probably the superior way. Alright, goodbye. We may still be relatively close to the station when it's time. Yeah. Because we are... Oh, shit! We're a little too close. You're a little too close to the case. Um... Get us out of here. Full burn. No, not full burn, but <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> okay, I probably messed up all the calculation. And. This is really the way we should be pointing? Ah, oh, I get it, yeah. Um, so valuable lesson, everybody. Watch out for the space station, because Orbital Womp will do that to you. Okay, I think we're gone for good this time. <clears throat> Let me make sure that didn't do anything stupid. No, not too stupid. <clears throat> I'll admit that was a little scary. But we're cool. Yeah, we're clear of it. It was just some orbital path thing, but we're... We're on our own path now. We didn't lose our way, that's good. You scare me. 
2.30, uh, fucking... That tells you what. Let's line ourselves up. Mm. For an atomic engine, is not much. And we'll just kind of hope this goes. Oh, and it counts, the, the new mission timer counts from when we detached from dock, which is pretty cool. Not really dead all. Also, I forgot these things can't sustain full burn. Whatever. Just go. We could flip about and use the probe's engines to full burn. I can't help but view, feel the view should be, yeah. I see the moon over the horizon eventually. Just keep it steady. Please don't explain. Yeah. Slow but steady wins the race, but we are gonna go really fast over there. You'll see. This thing won't easily have enough to sling the probe to the moon. Now whether the probe has enough to slow down at the moon is another picture entirely. But we're gonna find that out. We'll just, you know, we'll find it out together, everybody. Not to forget we have this damn tank in here. Can't really use it while we're burning, because things stupid things will happen. And the fuel will be distributed unevenly. But we're going. Well you betcha we're going. I'm 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 probably doing this wrong, but we'll be okay. We just won't. Alright, forget the maneuver and just show me the thing. The maneuver is going to be a little precarious. You can see it's starting to expand. The engines aren't actually going to explode. Probably. You can see the mass going down as we burn off fuel, but atomic engines are the shit for that reason. Okie doke. Moon periapsis. We can get that closer to the moon so that the probe has to do less work. On its, on its little tiny baby fuel. We can't do that too much. If we get too cheeky with the moon, we'll miss. We can do that a little. We can get a little cheeky. Alright, there we go. And we're still not going to actually hit it. There we go. The probe could shorten that dramatically. Because the thing is, it has a long way to go, but it is very tiny. So. Carbon, for the first time in a while, we got places to be that don't involve you. So goodbye. You. Don't even think I forgot about you, motherfucker. Oh no. Uh. Now let's check. We. The, the game seems to be just. It's not using the mono the The regular propellant, which is nice. It is using the mono propellant. Let's top those off just in case. In. Not the thruster block, you fool. In. And now for these tanks, we could probably juggle this a little bit. That kind of helps even it out a little bit. It's the same amount of fuel, really. Same effect at the end of the day. And... That'll let the engines go for a little while more. It's... It's a... I should have the fuel flowing naturally. 
That'd be a much better system, but at least fuel cross flow is possible. Alright, and then our orbit will bring us back, and honestly, we can just extend it. And the lazy way would be to just extend the orbit and just wait for us to hit Minmus. You know a little how you do with manufacturing intersects, like on orbits and stuff. Matter of fact, exactly how you do that. Electric charge is going to be a concern. This is just a test, though. A test to teach us things. And if it teaches us good things, well then... That's good. I mean, the damn things have solar panels, so I... What? Something happened. No, no, no. Okay, we're good. We're cool. There's the Mona Relay, which I put there... Like a year ago in game time. Would somebody please explain to me what happened? Ah, I got greedy. I got greedy and I was punished for my hubris. Cut fucking damn it. Okay, no, we're cool. These atomic engines give us enough efficiency where even me, even I cannot fail. It is not possible. Is this getting us closer to it? Or are we still on course? Because we're going to be in the moon's gravity for a tiny... Tiny bit. And I can't tell if this is making it better or worse. Okay, I'm just flailing away. I'm wasting fuel for no reason. If we fuck it up, we can just go back and try again. Can we just freaking actually this extraticity is not really what we want, but whatever. Get ready to detach, my proby friend. You will not have actually we have lots of time. Assuming the game doesn't decide that we're doing something else now. Okay, there you are though. I basically want to get this probe down and see, you know what we can do. My original plan was to establish orbit with the whole ship, and then send the probe down, and then redock the probe. You know, let's do that. We haven't had a moon docking thing. Let's do that. I get the feeling we're gonna need to slow well, way the hell down. Right here. And then we just... Okay, no, give me a new one. We go like no, 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 we go like a D is no. Uh let's go for mon periapsis of one hundred and fifty thousand, which is rather close to it. We do need to get hundred and fifty thousand on the dot though. Alright, there we go. Then we can modify things as the situation may merit. And the computer's predicting a not arduous burn time, so we should all be okay. Everything's gonna be just fine. My shittily designed. Okay, there we go. There's the maneuver. Everything's okay. And do not panic. Fear is a choice. God, that movie. That movie was one of those ones that I can't get angry at. But After Earth is a movie I can get sad at. Because that, that was sad. They tried so hard and got so far. But in the end, you got Shyamalan to do your movie. You can't see it, but I'm shrugging my shoulders, you know? Or as it's called, Shyamalan Bomb Number 5. When your life is a punchline, it's time to re-examine things. Okay. We're 45 seconds out. I'm an idiot! Go, full burn! Wet roll burn. Whatever, this'll do. This isn't the first time I've been a little off. Just keep 
keep it nice and cool. Just keep it cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're doing what I want. Now, 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 we watch this closely. Take it to about half throttle. Oop. Alright, let's ride it around a bit and then shrink our orbit from there. Good work! Orbit of the Moon! Something I used to just barely scrape at, now I just kinda do. Which could be seen as a good sign. Something is wiggling. Okay, yeah. Let's get it close to the Moon. Uh, what's this thing going at? The closer to the moon we get, the harder it is to do maneuvers. So I want the carrier to be doing most of the work here. 150,000 is low into the flow. Like, really low. That's the first time I've lazily time accelerated past a T minus in a while. Still might be worth it just for saving my own time and freaking patience, but you know. Let's let's plan. Let's plan just a bit. Times ten times warp is not a very fast thing at the speeds we're moving. Okay, 164, pull it back. I just pull it back just the tiny okay. 150,000 will be the target orbit. We're gonna go, we're gonna send a probe, we're gonna dock it back, and this is basically what we're gonna do for Minmus 2, and we're gonna see, you know, if it works, and what we can do. See if this thing is landable. I would've given it landing legs, but it was, it was, the configuration we were going for would've made that very difficult. Alternately, I could just... No, let's do it. No, that's stupid. Whatever. Let's do something. When we hit that time, We something is gonna happen, everybody. Just get us on the ground. That part will happen pretty definitely. So yes, I have a lander with no landing legs. A spare fuel tank that doesn't have any fuel lines. The docking port is on the back, blocked by the engines. Um, I am the bestest. Why? Why do you ask? This is a 12 second burn. I'm going to get in the cockpit here because for all the things... This, it is so nice to be able to zoom in at my whole fucking view and make sure that I am absolutely... One hundred percent. Because it doesn't look like it on the screen, does it? It is. Mm, fuck it. This works. On top of lazily time accelerate past all the things. Yeah. Times a hundred seems to be a good middle ground where you don't waste too much of your life. I mean, given your your playing Kerbal Space Program, I mean that's kind of a that's kind of a thing. Twelve seconds, that means we burn at six. Full burn! Five hundred thousand, four hundred thousand. I've changed my mind. We'll do. We'll do three hundred thousand. There we go. Because why not? Just tighten up the orbit. Use a bit less fuel. The eh. getting anywhere we need fuel anyhow. Hundred thousand. If we smack into the moon or relay, that would be the funniest thing. Anyhow, we're gonna get really close to that awesome moon. 
Shame we're not pointed at it. Oh, I think we will be. Also, we're going really slow now, everybody. Out here in lunar space, we're just taking it nice and easy, you know? Like, yeah. We have visual track on the moon. We're very close already. I don't think we've sent anything to land in this. I should have put lander legs. Whatever. We can... Whatever. We could even just probe bomb the moon if we really wanted. We're gonna get really closer to, like... And we won't be able to see the damn moon again, because... No? That is really damn close. Close enough to make out individual geographic features. It still looks good about... Like, if you zoom in really close, then it starts to not look so good, but... Here it still looks fantastic. We have Kerbin over there, which we can still clearly see. We can visually resolve it at this distance. Ah, uh, we need to be turned around. I love the ability to move my head around like this. I'm sure Oculus Rift and this thing will be really awesome if there's like support for it and stuff. Also, if this game didn't have SAS, it would be the most frustrating and annoying thing ever. I'm not saying SAS is any prize for annoyance sometimes, but you know what I mean. Check the mic isn't muted, something you always need to do. Okay, when we get close enough, I'm just gonna... I'm like 10 seconds away, so I'm just gonna burn in retrograde and see what that gets us. Wow, we're far off on that side. Yeah, we need to go full burn! 300,000... And that looks pretty good. That's about as good as we're gonna get it. We also also wiggling. I don't know why it wiggles. Whatever. We are in a low orbit of the moon. Let's just take a look at the big bastard. Our probe won't be able to do this, which is the one disadvantage to me of that of this sort of them. Also, I just no 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 burning the mono propellant. We're gonna need all that shit. This carrier actually needs way more mono propellant. Although when I design a big carrier with a man craft, it's gonna have like the, one of the big tanks, like the one that on the space station. It, that's probably what it'll need to be. Okay, from here it just kind of looks folded. The effect is actually really weird, but whatever. Let's send down a probe and check it out. This is the closest we've, closest we've ever been to the moon. Probe 1 and probe 2, let's check your topped off. No, because I wasted resources, because... Uh, I do that. <clears throat> Can I... Wrestling with the controls, which is something I do quite a lot. We'll be right back. Yeah, I definitely don't think the probes will be able to return. That's okay, though. Just in case it is, we can do... We can 
point it really anywhere we please, really. Okay. But here. Let's detach. Are you the one I bothered to... No, you're the one I bothered to fill up. Okay. I thought about flipping the craft to get it on the sun side, but... Whatever. Now, little probe. You're on your own. Let's get you free. With one... Well-controlled puff. And it actually worked, oh my god. We are now... Tiny little... Again, essentially a guided missile. This, I am almost certain this doesn't have enough to do anything. Let's give it a try. I mean, that's why we sent this guy out here. So long and good luck. Your solar panels are crumpled. Whatever. But for now, no cockpit view, because it's just a little probe. What we need to do is just kind of go down, see where it goes from there. Get out of orbit, specifically. So what we're going to do is... No, not that. Why is that... Oh, because I'm a moron, that's why. This is actually the correct way to view the probe. So... We're gonna call this... Drone carrier... Drone carrier probe is good. I'm gonna call this the Munner probe. We could take rovers like this and set them down. That would have been actually much cooler, probably. Yeah, because I've never done the roving on another planet business before. And you can do that here. Yeah. I also should have given this thing solar panels of its own. There's actually lots of things that I should have done. Also, that's uneven now, so burning with it is not really an option. Okay, but really just... I think we should be well clear of it enough to... Okay, no, what I wanted to do was... Puff, puff, puff. And then done that... We got the cutest of red robot ever. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. This thing, it doesn't have the fuel? Can I get an explanation on why that made it bigger? When it's a red... Oh, because I'm an idiot. As usual, that's your explanation. I honestly... I don't know why I thought that, but I did. Okay, this thing is at least small enough that the, the control module is no problem. Okay, Ret Robot. This should be effortless. This should just go. Uh, I don't even know if this is enough to attempt a landing, in fact. This just may be just a loss. We may just want to establish a low orbit and then return to the carrier. And by low orbit, I mean like... Since this is the moon, there's nothing that says you can't do a like... Well, there's nothing except the mountain ranges that say you can't do like a... An orbit of this. Like, you could seriously do this and just... Get it so low you're just coasting. That should be... That should be more than doable, I mean. Oh no. I switched it over. Whatever, we're going there anyhow. Wee! Oh, I, I use such big, like, rockets and shit now that it's nice to just be a little guy. I just not, I don't have to give a fuck about anything. Now, we're going in close. Honestly, if we really... <clears throat> didn't have the fuel, we could just... Also, time acceleration is going to be frustratingly impossible. But we are now close to the planet. 
We could get closer. The whole idea is to get, you know, right up to the moon. Okay, um, oh! <laughs> no, I'm just a moron. That's just what it is.